back. COVID-19 has changed a lot of folks' holiday plans. If you normally go to grandma's house and she cooks the turkey, but this year you have the responsibility, we want you to be prepared for making your first Thanksgiving meal. Brianna Richardson spoke with a restaurant owner for tips and checked in with some first-time cooks. Joy Rashawn normally has a family gathering, but this year was different. She hosted a small Friendsgiving this past weekend, and it was her first time cooking foods like turkey and dressing. I've made collard greens by myself. I've made mac and cheese, like on its own. I've made rice, but not everything put together. Um, so that was interesting. <laughs> Gregory Ford lost his wife from cancer two years ago. Since then, he and his two kids would eat out at restaurants or eat at someone else's house. But this year, we're going to be home for Thanksgiving, so we decided that uh, we would try to start a new tradition. So my daughter and I will be cooking Thanksgiving dinner this year. And his daughter Olivia says she can't wait for her first time in the kitchen. I'm pretty excited to celebrate. This is definitely going to be something new cooking for Thanksgiving, so it'll be a new experience. The owner of Levi's Grill in Bonaire has 28 years of cooking experience. He shares some tips for first timers. Most of the holiday items there are frozen, so you want to buy them a few days in advance and you want to throw them out in the refrigerator for about two days. Set your time as for when you want to eat dinner and then you want to count backwards by the amount of time that it's going to take to prepare that meal. And also you want to make sure that you're using a thermometer when you're cooking because you want to get that to the right internal temperature. And Ford says regardless of how his meal turns out, he'll be happy to share it with his kids. Even if we burn something, as long as we enjoy the moment and it burns, it's still worth it because that's still an experience that we get to share. In Macon, Brianna Richardson, 13 WMAZ News. That is the spirit. Now, he also suggests using recipes and instructional videos to help you prepare. Now, whether you are a first-time cook or you've been cooking for years, the facts are the same. Thanksgiving is the peak day for home cooking fires. That's according to the National Fire Prevention Association. U.S. fire departments respond to about 1,600 cooking fires on Thanksgiving Day in 2018. Now, we don't want that to be you, so tonight we are taking a closer look at holiday cooking safety. First up, be proactive. Check your smoke alarms and buy a fire extinguisher just in case something goes wrong. You got that, Frank? <laughs> now, once you start cooking, stay in the kitchen so you can keep an eye on the food and don't wear loose clothing that could dangle while cooking. Use a timer to remind yourself that the stove is on and make sure to clean surfaces regularly. And they may want to sneak a bite, but the Red Cross suggests you keep children mm -hmm. and pets away from the kitchen. Yes. Try giving them a puzzle, movie, or game to stay entertained until dinner is ready. And after the turkey and other dishes are all gobbled up, check the kitchen. Don't go to bed before you make sure everything is put away and turned off. 